What makes GitHub so popular? Can it be used for startups, SMBs and even enterprises? What are the top features? It's again time for a top 10. Let's talk about the 10 reasons why everyone should use GitHub. Hi everybody and welcome back to Code Day. Today we talk again about GitHub, but from a broader point of view. In fact, we're going to see the 10 reasons why everyone should use GitHub and what makes it so popular and powerful. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want to learn about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub, just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new video. Also, let me point out two things. First of all, these are my personal 10 reasons why I like GitHub and I think everyone should use it and why it's so powerful. If you have any other reason or features you like, let me know in the comment section below so we can discuss about it. Second, the 10 features and reasons are randomly sorted, so if one comes before another, it doesn't mean that it's more or less important. All right, let's start with reason number one. GitHub is home of more than 50 million developers, and it basically speaks by itself. It's where open source lives. There are, of course, other open source providers out there, but they are much, much smaller in size than GitHub itself. And this is a huge advantage for both organizations and individual developers. If you are an organization and uses GitHub, then your new hires and also the developers you have probably are already familiar with GitHub, so the learning curve will be much smaller. And if you are an individual developer or consultant, most likely the organization you want to work with or maybe they will hire you will use GitHub, so if you know it, you have a huge advantage. Another big point about this is that the estimate for open source code in enterprise application is about 80 to 90%, meaning that the organization you're working with only writes 10 to 20% of the code. If you keep your organization on the same platform where all the open source come from, you have all the benefits all together. It's like having a huge team of developers working for you, even though maybe your development team is small, but you can leverage all the open source possibilities and collaboration you have on the platform together with people that are already there. And last but not least, GitHub being home of more than 50 million developers means there's a huge, huge user base that use all the features day in, day out. So the reliability of the platform is basically ensured. And this brings me to the reason number two. GitHub is the best Git provider out there. When GitHub started a few years ago, their main focus was on repositories and Git management. So now, after a few years, they are the best platform when it comes to Git providers. First of all, GitHub has a rich Git experience, which is completely based on the standard Git. So all the tools developed for Git will work and work with GitHub. Another very important point in this category is the pull request experience and the overall collaboration. In fact, GitHub as a platform points everything towards collaboration, whether it's open source collaboration or inner source collaboration. This is of course important for development team of all sizes, but is especially important for enterprises. Being able to collaborate internally across teams as you would do in the open, in the open source community is priceless because you can really enable your teams across the company, across the enterprise, even across BUs to be more productive, to reuse code one another, to share and to grow together. And this is without even talking about pull request experience, which in my honest opinion is the best experience you can find across any other product. Of course, Azure DevOps and other competitors have their own pull request experience, but it's not as complete as the GitHub one. The amount of options you have for the pull request in GitHub, together with the flexibility and the versatility of the branch policies, are unmatched in the industry. And best of all, all the developers already know how to use it, so there's no learning curve for that. Reason number three, free, unlimited public and private repos and unlimited collaborators. This reason, again, speaks by itself, and this is very, very unique in the market. Most of the other tools have limits on the number of free repos you can create, especially on the private side. And also they have limits on free collaborators, meaning that you need to pay the licenses if you want more collaborators. GitHub instead has now free unlimited repositories, whether they are private or public, 
and free collaborators. So you can add as many collaborators as you want in both public and private repos. Then of course you can upgrade your experience adding paid services or maybe moving to the enterprise cloud. But this free tier allows organization of any size to start with GitHub, start using the platform, and sometimes they don't even need to upgrade to a paid service. So that's again, pretty cool. Reason number four, GitHub is backed by Microsoft. This doesn't mean, of course, that Microsoft is taking over the open source. And in fact, since the acquisition, GitHub user base has grown even faster than before. What that means, though, is that all the Microsoft experience in the enterprise and in running SaaS services and enterprise services is now into GitHub. And this will bring and is bringing already a lot of benefits. First of all, on the stability of the platform. Second, on the enterprise focus, Microsoft is a company that worked with the enterprise for a long, long time. And now GitHub can benefit from that experience to serve the enterprise clients even better. But not forget about you know, startups and small business businesses because those are still the focus of GitHub and they will continue to be served with the Microsoft experience behind the scenes. And GitHub can now also benefit from the Azure platform and also from the integration between Microsoft tools and GitHub itself, including, for example, the integration with Azure DevOps and identity providers like Azure Active Directory. Reason number five, GitHub Actions. I've already made a video about GitHub Actions, actually a bunch of videos. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend checking these out. You can find a link up here in which I go through what you can do with GitHub Actions. But in short, GitHub Action is a very powerful automation engine embedded in GitHub. Some people think that GitHub Action is only for CI/CD, And even though they are the most popular service for CI/CD in GitHub on both private and public repos, this is not really true. Because as I said, they are a very powerful automation platform. Basically, if you can automate it, you can do it with Actions. The GitHub Action service is so powerful that by itself should be enough to move to GitHub or to use GitHub. And I really recommend you to check my video and also the other examples you can find because you can do almost everything and anything you need using GitHub Actions from automation, CI CD, but even issues and pull request comments, for example. Before we continue with our top 10, hit the like button below if you think this video provides value to you or you find it insightful. All right, reason number six, the security vulnerabilities and automatic PRs. This is again a very compelling reason to use GitHub. In fact, with Dependabot, GitHub can scan your dependency and vulnerabilities and try to find if there's anything in your repo. If it finds it, it can create automatic pull requests for you to upgrade or update your dependencies and solve the problem. As you can imagine, this saves a lot of time because it creates the pull requests for you and also ensures that your code base is really taken care of. And again, this is very important for enterprises, but also for everyone else, because you want to keep your code safe and keep your application without vulnerabilities. And this service really helps. Plus, if you're a maintainer of an open source package that you use by someone else, you can notify GitHub if you find any vulnerability yourself in your package or in its dependencies. So GitHub can also notify the other people using that and solve the problem for you. Reason number seven, the mobile application. GitHub recently launched its own mobile application and it's awesome. The response to that application has been mind blowing and we've seen people using it for many different things. Initially, the mobile app was designed especially around collaboration for comments and issues, but soon the people started using it for many different things. And now the most popular activity in the app is actually code review, which is mind blowing if you think. Now people can review their code and approve PRs wherever they are, whenever they want, in mobility, in their place, anywhere. With the introduction of the mobile app, GitHub has enabled a new way of working. And to my knowledge, it's the only native mobile application available for any DevOps or ALM platform. So big plus for GitHub here. Reason number eight, GitHub Insights. We all know that when it comes to DevOps, metrics and monitorings are very important. But what if there is a platform that can do it for us? Well, GitHub Insights is just that. At the time of recording this video, the service is still in beta and growing. But anyway, it provides a lot of insightful information, hence the name GitHub Insights, which you can use to monitor your organization, your team, and your work. It provides a lot of data around collaboration, issue resolution time, pull request merge, and so on and so forth, 
all data that are meaningful to development team and in the enterprise cloud, even data that are very meaningful for the organization management. I can't wait to see the service reaching GA, especially in the enterprise cloud, because the data I could provide is mind blowing. Reason number nine, the activity report. This is somehow a smaller feature, if you will, but it's one of the things that make GitHub unique. With the activity report, in fact, you can see whatever your peers do in your project and other projects, and inside your organization, you can have a constant view of what happens in the teams. Even though at a first glance, this may look like a small thing, it's actually not, and it hides a bigger value. In fact, with this, you can always know whatever happens around you in terms of projects and code. It also means that if you need some code, you know who's working on that or where to find it. You know what projects are going on and where you can focus your attention. And also we as developers are kind of competitive at times. So seeing what's going on around us inspire us to be better, to make better code, higher quality code. And so it's a win-win for everyone. We grow and our organization has a higher quality result. And finally, reason number 10, the marketplace and the integration. Being the de facto home for the open source has its advantages. In fact, basically any developer tool integrates with GitHub. Whether you're using your favorite IDE, your CI CD platform, your work management platform, your incident management platform, and so on and so forth, most likely they have some kind of integration with GitHub to either take data out from GitHub or send data to GitHub. Let's talk about extensions for a second. Having literally millions of people working in the open on GitHub results in a huge marketplace. Let's take Actions, for example. Just that service has tens of thousands of actions developed in the open free for you to use. And that's the same for other areas and services within GitHub. In fact, there are literally thousands and thousands of applications, extensions, probot application, and even browser extensions to add features to GitHub and enhance your experience. Basically, if you need something, there's probably an extensions for it. All right, that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section below if my 10 top reasons why everyone should use GitHub are the same as yours, or if you have any other reasons or features you like, and we can discuss about it. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. Oh.